Hey, hey, everybody, what's up? Welcome back to Affinity Fishing. Just wanted to let you guys know I'm heading out Saturday morning. It's just stopped raining. It's a little bit drizzly still. You can see everything was all wet around me. So what we're going to be doing here, I'm just loading the boat up really quick. I'll do a quick video, show you guys how I get the, vid the, the boat up into the truck. So put this over here. All right, now I'm just gonna go ahead, fill it up with the rest of the shit, and we're good to go. All right, so the boat's loaded up. Boat's loaded up. We're hitting the road. Okay, made it out of the driveway. All right, so heading over to Congress Lake. Just started to rain pretty heavily right now, so everything's getting soaked. I just had to bring my tackle bag and my GoPro accessories and stuff into the truck. So they didn't get soaked on the way out over there, so. I think I have the solution for this rainy day. I'm gonna show it to you guys real quick. This is the secret weapon for a rainy day of bass fishing. All right, I almost just wrecked the truck to get this on, but here we go, guys, this is it. This is the secret weapon right here. Yup. Gonna slay today, got the lucky hat. Woo! It's bad thing to stand a chance, so. I'll catch you guys on the water, maybe loading up the boat into the water. It depends how much raining it is when I get over there. So it's pouring right now, but uh, we'll see if it lightens up. I'll bring out the GoPro, show you guys unloading the boat. Using a white swim bait, okay, cool. The guy's on the uh, little kayak. So it just poured for about 30 minutes straight. We just got soaked. I only had a short sleeve shirt on with like a very thin long sleeve underneath it. No thermal or anything. It's all freezing, soaking wet. Ugh, just rented a truck and grabbed my hoodie. Got my lucky fishing hat. Seems actually perfect because the circumference of the top of the, the umbrella actually protects the GoPro, the mic, my back, my my hair my head obviously all that stuff so and actually kind of if i keep my reel pretty close it pretty much blocks the rain from uh, getting all over my reel all right so i'm just trying to warm up a little bit probably should have took my wet shirt off first before putting the coat on but fuck it it's just wet underneath Whew. okay we're gonna get back out there we're gonna get some fucking bass it's time Nope, really nice hit though. Or it was a big rock bump. <laughs> there he is. Nice. That's a nice sized one. Yeah, that one's decent. Alright guys, there it is. Nice first fish. Or first nice fish, I'd just say. Uh, a better hook set than the others. Whew. First nice one out here in the rain. Yeah, not bad. Later, brother. Oh. Yeah. Right to the boat, look at this. 
Nice fish. I'd say. Oh boy, yeah, it is actually really nice. Wow. Just spinning this all around here. Whoa, relax there, buddy. Wow, that's actually a really nice fish. Four pounder, I'd say. <coughs> Biggest one of the day so far. I'd say probably just under four. Just belly. Nice fish, guys. Really nice fish. Ooh, okay, cool, cool. First decent bass of the day. Nah, that's the second one. That one was alright as well. Nah, no way. I just cast it in and that fish just jumped out of the water and took it. Really? Yep. Nice job. You got him? Yeah. He literally took it out of the top of the water in the grass. Another little little guy. Oh, slippery. Oh, look at the tail. See the tail? Yeah, bad. It's bed fish. Tail's all cut up. There you go, buddy. Right back to your bed. As soon as the swim bait hit the, the, the water, he came out of the water and grabbed it. Alright guys, so what you're about to see here, so we got onto this pattern all day with these bass. They were they were backed up into these these small like eight to ten inch tall weeds that were actually going down about a foot or two into the water very shallow still but we found that a lot of bass were really pocketing these areas so on this next clip you see I cast into this spot I pull out a male bed fish you can tell he has tons of sores on the bottom of the belly the bottom of the tail and I pulled him out I said I said to my buddy Ann I said hey that's the male I'm going back to the mommy pig I want the female that's sitting over there the very next cast I hook up to a giant she darts to the left and spits the hook and I'm like, oh shit. I let about like 10 seconds go by and then I cast right back over to the bed. Look what happens next. Same spot. This might be the female. No, spit it. Same exact spot, dude. That might've been the big female. Still on. Oh boy. Yeah. Dude, I don't know what the hell just happened there. It is a really big fish. Oh my god. Nice. That's the big female. Oh my god. Sick founder. I gotta hit like a little. Ooh. Jumping into the boat, bro. This is. No, I don't know. This is a huge bass, though. Take this. That's the female. Oh my gosh, dude. What a fish. Oh my. Look at that bass, guys. That might be my PB. Look at the mouth. Grab my. I need a scale. You got, a, you got a cell phone out? For sure. The 5-5 five, five female. There she goes. That was an old bass, guys. That was fucking dope. In the weeds again. Nice three pounder, maybe.
Wow, this one's got actually some solid weight to it. Slight melanosis going on as well. Well, those are some scars that healed up. Nice another fish, guys, right there. Right up in the weeds, super shallow. A lot of uh, <laughs> perfect swan dive. Nice entry, 10 out of 10. Take a couple more of that size. Ant literally grabbed it in the grass again. As soon as it hit the water, I'd say. Instantly. Small one, but jumper. Crushed it. As soon as it hit the water, you saw him? No. Ah, really, really sharp. Fucking little fat belly on this pig. Look at that. There you go, guys. Another fish. In the books. In the boat. Swan dive. Oh, that was a back flop. <laughs> right underneath the tree. Did you? Bass are very aggressive. Right now, we're like moving towards where I'm casting. Got him? Nice. What? Smallest one of the day, that's for yeah. sure. Yeah, I think you boated him. <laughs> oh my god, he's a pig. He goes, oh my god, he's a baby. These bass have so many scars on them. He took it right next to the boat, too. You showed me set the hook, bring him straight into the water. Bears are very aggressive today. I like it. I like it. Yeah. Little, but it's one. Look at that fucking cut that guy's healing from. Wow. Jeez, look at that. Yeah, from the bed? That's from, no, that's from how rocky this bottom is over here. How rocky this bottom is, these guys are getting fucking gnashed up. Or maybe he got caught and dragged through something, you never know. Damn, the battery's about to die, it's flashing low. So just uh, finished up at Congress Lake, I'm heading back to get the truck. And it was actually a really good day out there. I caught like maybe eight to 10 bass, a couple really decent ones, good fights, good coverage. Only thing that sucked was the, the weather in the morning. I'm freezing, my clothes are still wet underneath, so that's why I've been miserable. I can't feel my feet or my hands. My hands are literally like purple from how cold it is and wet. So uh, this is gonna be a great time out here, guys. I can't wait to get back out as soon as possible. Weather's still on the way up, cold weather, but I'm, I'm ready for the warmth. I think the bass are too. So if you like the video, you already know, comment, like, subscribe, share it with a friend. If you want to fish together, like I said, leave a comment below. Maybe we can link up, go out on the two-seater. If you got any questions about anything you see in the video, I'll put as many links as I can below. But until next time, keep fishing.